Lagging behind again? Kusa didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still putting the pieces together. It's all stored in Esper's mainframe. You hear about the Moonbus massacre? Gaff mentioned it. Could be our cases are overlapping. I might keep you posted. Do that. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grav test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendeller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. and shooting range. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Scanning video disk. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. Bomb. Give me a hard copy of that. The dog collar has a name on it. 
Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Roof. Ground floor. The goons over at the Tyrell building wouldn't let me talk to their boss. Maybe you can set up a meeting. Anyone else in that whole company who knows anything? <laughs> you and I both know it's a one-man show over there. I'll give it a try, kid. I'll have to pull some strings, so don't go in there half-assed. Make sure you got some legit questions for the resident genius. Appreciate it, Lieutenant. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Beautiful, isn't it? The owl or the view? Both. The view's amazing. The owl, well, artificial things never did that much for me. It's a flawless replica. We used a real one as a model. Owls are extinct. Who told you the model was real? Dr. Terrell? He's wrong, or lying. Check your Sydneys. Eldon wouldn't make up something like that. You're Tyrell's assistant? Yes, I'm Rachel. Dr. Tyrell is very busy. I'm fully familiar with all Tyrell operations. He does know I'm a cop, right? Blade Runner unit? Dr. Tyrell has already met with one Blade Runner today and has important business to attend to. Your department should coordinate its efforts better. Yeah, but... You may speak to me, or you may leave. I can't offer you any other choices. Fair enough. I wanted to ask about Marcus Eisendeller. I can't tell you who killed him, if that's what you're asking. We've already got a suspect. 
What I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. Oh yeah? Why's that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant. A very dangerous one. I thought replicants were safe. More human than human. Isn't Dr. Tyrell pushing to make it legal to use rep labor to clean up the kipple? Are we here to discuss corporate policy or Marcus Eisendeller's murder? A little of both. You heard about the moon bus hijacking. Yeah, I guess you would have. Fifty people dead. You can't blame. I'm surprised you aren't out doing spin control. The public gets nervous when your pets wander around the city without a leash. Replicants aren't pets. Right. Pets live longer and don't go around killing people. They... There are safeguards in the design. Yeah, I've seen the data. Implanted memories of four-year lifespan. I'd probably get a little crazy too, but I don't think I'd start killing people. Wouldn't you? As I explained to Mr. Deckard earlier, I've given the Nexus 6 model a past. I've given it the purity and innocence of childhood. And all the joy and despair that comes with a real existence. That's hardly a death sentence. That's life. I thought you weren't meeting with any more Blade Runners today. Well, I decided to make an exception. Mr. Uh, McCoy, isn't it? You do understand the need for the Nexus 6 to have an identity. Not really. No. I do see why a replicant who has an identity would want to steal Eisendollar's files. Please, enlighten me. They want more life. They're wasting their time. They're gonna come for you, just like they came for Eisendollar. I have nothing to fear from any of my children. I tell them all exactly what I told you. Have I given you what you came here for? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Then if you'll excuse me, I have a stockholder meeting to attend. You know who deals in insects down here? You don't want insects? They're no good companion. But fish. Fish are good. I have every kind of fish for you. Blowfish, dorado, miniature sailfish. Very friendly. No thanks. I got a dog at home. Fish just as good as dog. No, my dog is real. Real? Oh, you must make lots of money. Let's get back to insects. Official LPD business. Ah, down at end of Animal Row, you see big green sign? You try there. Good luck with dog, friend. Hope he stays healthy. She. Hey, you. Hey, you. Might I interest you in a snake, noble one? Not today, thanks. You know anything about insects? I regret that I do not, noble one. Save that I feed them to my snakes. You do what? Artificial ones, of course. 
The safeguards in the design of my snakes would not allow them to swallow a real insect. I assume that this insect is already extinct. They all died after the war, yes. So the fakes must be pretty expensive. If bought in bulk, the price is acceptable. They do not need to eat them, of course, but the added realism is worth every penny. Have you ever seen such craftsmanship? Right now I'm more interested in the insect. Perhaps you should ask the Peruvian woman next door. She's an expert on such things, and will cut a wonderful deal to friends. I need to ask you... Certainly the LPD must have better things to do than to question a humble merchant over and over again about the same things. Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? Bob? He owns the armament shop up the street. He's insane, noble one, insane. He takes peculiar pleasure in agitating all the vendors around here. I cannot even go out for a shishko walk without worrying whether Bob is going to sabotage my snakes. Thanks for your time. This your work? Ah, the dragon. Dragon? See, si. I'm a subtera. Dragonfly late of the American South Swampland. You sell jewelry with dragonflies? Items like that, very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item, and most likely part of large collection. Person must have plenty of money to obtain a collection. More than I can afford. You try Hawker Circle. Might want to trade for this. With luck, you may find. If this is from a collection, I'm also looking for the other pieces. I make you a deal. I found out where to get Dragonfly jewelry. Then, you buy a piece, right? For special lady friend? You come back later. I'll do that. <laughs> you take care, chasing the dragon. Handsome man like you has lady friend, of course. All my girl cares about is food and love. Oh, how romantic. What is this girl's name? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie... Ah! Maggie, senor. It's perfect, is it not? It's kind of ugly, but you talk me into it. Had a 45 blaster under your coat, or you're just happy to be here. You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy, Rep D-Tech. Blade Runner, huh? How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davy Holden. How's he doing? Word is he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davy like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back in the job soon. I hear you've been waving guns around on Animoid Row. Who's been telling you that crap? That lying Egyptian snake oil salesman? Hassan? That's the one. I should have popped him when I had the chance. You want to know what really happened? I wanted to get my daughter a present for her birthday, right? I bought an iguana from that crook, Hassan. And the damn thing ran out of juice just two days after I plucked down a shitload of chinyin. Son of a bitch wouldn't give me a refund. So I threatened to burn down his shop. Sometimes you just gotta be philosophical about these things. That's exactly what my wife says. I heard of you. Is that right? You ain't done much. I just got assigned. Guys like you get hurt real easy. Meaning what, exactly? It ain't like you're a real Blade Runner. Not like Steel or Gaff. They get hurt sometimes, too. It's a dangerous business. How'd you feel about taking a little test? You mean the Void Kampf? You come into my shop and you want to VK me? Relax, I just... 
<laughs> it's funny. You thinking I'm a rep. Set up the test. We'll see what's what around here. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Downtown, 4th Sector. Hey, this is great. Should I be sitting any special way? Just relax. Your best friend has done something to make you angry. I know. I hate that son of a bitch. A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. Yeah, I remember that, bitch. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. <laughs> I guess I picked the right line of work. What do you think it's like to be a replicant? Gary. Really? Hey, if every right-thinking citizen was out to waste my ass, yeah, I'd be scared. For your anniversary, your spouse gives you a real goldfish. I want a hamster. Well, it's a fish. She better damn well get me what I want. Out of the corner of your eye, you see a large black spider crawling up the wall. Where? They're worth a mint, even with only half their legs. It's just hypothetical. Hypo what? There's no spider. Well, why did you say so then? You're watching an old movie. It shows a banquet in progress. The guests are enjoying raw oysters. The entree consists of boiled dog. Damn. You know, I'm getting to be an old man, and I ain't gonna tell you I've never eaten meat. But even back when I was a kid, that would have made most people sick. I'd stop watching the movie. You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. I kicked the crap out of the sicko. You're giving a speech to a crowd of hundreds. First, one person starts to laugh. Why? You tell me. Finish the question. He leans over and says something to the people around him. Soon the whole audience is roaring with laughter and pointing at you. I don't like it when people laugh at me. Nobody does. No, I mean I really don't like it. You're having dinner at a friend's home. Halfway through the appetizer, he tells you that you've been eating goose liver pate. I beat the crap out of him. Test terminated. So that's it? Yeah. Since you didn't shoot me, <laughs> I must have registered okay. Yeah, it was touch and go there for a while. Well, you know, I think about skin jobs all the time. Try to get into their heads. Maybe that's what the deal is. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff. Cause I know them police issue spitballs just don't cut it. Not these days. Yeah, I know how it is. If you want to drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. I got a few clips around here somewhere. If you got the chin yen for it. Okay, let's have it. Thanks for your time.
Step up, step up. Mama Isabella cooked you something special. Put a glow in your cheek. McCoy, LPD. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Questions? They always need answers. This guy work for you? <laughs> no, but I wish he do. He be one fine looking man. You sure? Never seen him before. I'd remembered him for sure. That stew's looking tasty. Fix your right up. Only dirty chinion. It put a spring in your step, man. The ladies, they be loving you. You send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendollar at the Tyrell building? Eisendollar? Oh, Eisendollar, yeah. Let me tell you, that man can't eat. Send anything over lately? No, sir. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bill. Not for a month, eh? At least. No more till him pay up. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your time. I got a couple of questions for you, Captain. First one's on the house. The rest you pay for. You want chit chat, you hire a hooker. This ain't no social club. Nice bracelet, tough guy. Who's Maggie, your mommy? She's a dog. So is my wife, but I sure as hell don't brag about it. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Two minutes. That's how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Sell a lot of stuff that way? I don't encourage browsers. What impresses me are people who know what they want and are not afraid to pay for it. What's the most expensive thing you got in here? Value is a relative notion. What's significant to you might be meaningless to me. And vice versa. Everything here is guaranteed. The finest most authentic anyone can get. Excuse me, pal. Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. All my paperwork is in order. Doesn't matter. I don't read, anyhow. What's your name? Iso. You move a lot of valuable goods through here? Valuable and exotic? How exotic? We're talking exceptionally fine jewelry in the shape of a dragonfly. Ah, they were so majestic. I remember them from my childhood. And that was the last time I've seen them. It's very important that I find out about this. Can you help me? If I see something, 
and you can match whatever my collectors will pay. It's all yours. Thanks a million. Ever consort with a group called CARS, C-A-R-S? CARS. What is that? Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. I don't have time for such pursuits. How about Spencer Gregorian? The same goes for him, whoever he is. Funny, because he described you to a T. Even down to that stupid little ponytail you got. It's called a chomagi. What would you say if I told you Gregorian named you as one of the people who was there when the Tyrell building blew up? There's a mistake somewhere along the chain of communication. So, you're denying all involvement? I won't lie to you, Detective. There was a time in my life when I might have been involved with such an organization. I actually cared. But now, all I care about is my business. I am nothing but a humble salesman. Perhaps I can interest you in this camera. A hundred years ago, it was a cherished idol. Whole families sat for portraits. I've seen plenty of photographs in my time. Have you ever seen this? There were off-world rifles here and more. Grenades, explosives, modern rifles, even some police-issue restricted weaponry. Izo wasn't some small-time fence, but a big-time arms dealer. The exact arms that renegade replicants would be looking for to survive in the big city. Nothing else there.
I am not about to have all my hard work obliterated just because you stumbled into my shop, detective. Westerners need guns and hardware. All I need is will. Freeze, Yoshi! Ezo. Whatever. Been keeping yourself busy? I'll be out of lockup within the hour. Your little skin job friend's gonna take up a collection to bail you out, or you got it saved up? Maybe I got friends in high places. Yeah, and if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. What are you doing here, Slim? I was gonna ask you the same thing. I've been tracking this boy for a week. He thinks he's pretty clever. He's a material witness in a case I'm working. In fact, your best buddy's a replicant, isn't he? The big guy with the dreadlocks. What's his name again? Hallucinate often? That's okay. You'll be giving him up to me soon enough. I can handle it from here, Slim. Why don't you go buy yourself a lollipop? Something else to suck on. Very clever. But I wasn't trying to be. I was fresh out of Leeds. Poking around Hawker's circle had been a waste of time. I had nothing to connect this Ezo character to the Eisendaller murder. But if the replicants had done in one Tyrell scientist, maybe they'd go after another. And the subcontractors down on DNA Row didn't have Tyrell's security to protect them. <laughs> 